Hey everybody, my name is Travis, this is Travis Packables, and we're back with a little head-to-head -head baseball 2020 edition. We've got Bowman Chrome Mega Box versus a Topps Chrome Mega Box. Uh, my favorite product, or like right, right up there, is my favorite product of the year, and against one that's haven't opened up too much on the channel, just a hobby box, but I'm um, interested in opening more. I haven't heard a lot of great things about the Mega Boxes, but uh, we'll see what happens. I mean, in reality, it's all about what we can get rookie card-wise, usually. Um, cause autographs, you know, they're not guaranteed. So, uh, oh, hopefully we can buck that trend. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the content. If you are, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And let's go ahead and jump into this guy. All right, and here's the beautiful two mega boxes. And I think today I want to start with, uh, Bone Crumb. I think Bone Crumb's going to... Is the is gonna be the worst out of the two so I figure let's get the worst out of the way and then go with the better but we'll see you know we shall see we could be surprised I don't think there's like a really good chance for like parallel good parallels in here so we're gonna set uh, that one aside and that'll be the last pack or one of these two will be the last pack you are guaranteed 35 cards total and there's two five it's Plus two exclusive five card Chrome Mega Packs. So I'm not exactly sure what's in the Mega Packs. I have not opened up any of them. I haven't seen anybody open up any of them. So uh, should be interesting. All right, first pack. Andres Munoz to lead us off. Uh, we got Bobby Bradley, Matt Chapman, Kikuchi, and Freddie Freeman. Less than exciting pack, of course. On to the next one, we've got Jacob DeGrom leading us off, followed by Manny Machado. We have Blake Snell, Trey Mancini, and Dan Vogelbach. So far, that's two really bad packs. And hopefully, we can at least find, you know, five cards out of here that are going to be worthwhile. Because as of right now, I would say Bobby Bradley is probably our best card. We got uh, Pete Alonso, Yadier Molina, Sheldon Noose. There's Bo Bichette. We'll take that. That's a good one. We'll set that one aside. And then Randy Arizarina. So that was a very good pack made up for those two uh, extremely bad packs. So uh, I've, I'm filming this. This is the morning after the Dodgers just won the World Series. So that's unfortunate. I feel bad for the Rays. But I guess the Dodgers had it coming. It's, you know, third time's a charm. Uh, there's Nick Solak, one of my PC items. So I'll set him aside. Yu Chang. Mike Clevenger, and then Juan Soto. But apparently, like, right after, uh, I guess, Justin Turner had COVID, like, in the middle of the game. And got taken out because he tested positive. I don't know how that all happens or what the heck's going on with that. But that was extremely odd. Uh, but we got Anthony Rendon, Whit Merrifield, Trent Grisham. So another solid one. Uh, Bryce Harper and Cody... Bellinger. Now let's see what these Mega Box exclusive cards are. We got two packs of this. I'm kind of flying through the packs right now. I don't want to uh, take too long on them. Oh, so it's like the Mojo packs. Francisco, and there's a pink in here. So that's really, that's good. We'll take the pink. We'll put these guys up front. Forrest Whitley. The Astros, uh, he's coming up. Nolan Jones. We've got Francisco Alvarez. Adonis Medina. And... Matt Manning out of 199. I can't imagine that's too good. And there's like a car, uh, like something stuck on him. You guys can see that. I don't know what that is, but he's got some stuff coming out of his face, and that is just like stuck to the card. So that's awesome. Gotta love it. I'll set that aside though. All right, and. last pack of the box I see Mike Siani on the front followed by we got Bobby Witt there we go there's a good one let me take Bobby Witt uh, File I actually don't know who Dylan File Mason Denneberg and Estevan Florial. so I would say Bobby Witt's probably the better of them but I think we can find five cards that are probably pretty good in that pack it, it picked up after those first couple really really bad packs and then Tops Chrome. Most consistently probably been the better of the or the more fun to open for me. 
hasn't been like the I haven't been like crushing the pools or anything like that in, in Chrome. Uh, but it has been pretty exciting stuff. So, or it's still pretty fun. There's a lot more packs in here. But, and then you get your two bonus X Fractors, which will be hopefully some good stuff in there. Maybe you have Luis Robert. Alright, we got Frankie Lindor leading us off. We got a silver of Kyle Lewis. There we go, 1985. That's a good one. Set that guy aside. Set those over there. Uh, Rossiel Iglesias and Sam Hilliard. Sam Hilliard being one of the better rookie cards, I think, or the best, probably the best rookie card I got out of my Tops Chrome Sapphire box. That was pretty uh, unfortunate. We got Abraham Toro, Reese Hoskins, Nick Senzel, and then Keston Hira. Rookie Cup. Albert Alzalay to lead us off in the Miss Pack. We got a silver of Aquino. Everybody's favorite. No, not anymore. He fell off a cliff. Michael Fulmer and then Charlie Blackman. I mean, I don't know if... I mean, I'm sure it's because he's not very good. And he's older. He's like, what, 26, I believe. But he also didn't give me any opportunities out in Cincinnati. I think it would his bet the best thing for him would have been to get traded or moved somewhere to where he could get some playing time. And that never happened. Pete Alonzo, freshman flash of AJ Puck. We got Jose Altuve and Trevor Story. Alright. Um, what do we got? One, two, three, five, six, six, eight packs left if you include the Cepheus. Six base packs. Jake Rogers is our starting card. Followed by, we got Matt Chapman Silver. Man, Silver's look great in Chrome. Uh, Ian Desmond and then uh, Luis Urias. Yeah, the Silvers are just so clean in Chrome. I mean, they're probably the nicest of all the, or pretty close to it, outside of getting team color colors. So Looks like we got a Prism Refractor in here. We got Noah Syndergaard. Kyle Seeger's our Prism Refractor. Mookie Betts and Nolan Arenado. I'll see here. Oh, I think I want to get another hobby box of Chrome or Jumbo. I think I want a Jumbo. Those things are expensive, but I think I want one. Just open up another one. I only opened up one. I'd like to get another one. Um, Justin Dunn, Carter Keyboom, Jose Barrios, and John Lester. We got three packs of base left. Um, kind of not doing too well in Chrome, unfortunately, it looks like. So, oh, and then there, Kyle Lewis base. Uh, it heard me. He heard me. There you go, that's better. Joey Votto Silver. Is there... 595. Five. Um, set that aside. I don't know if that's like... Because I don't I don't think he has a, uh, a variant variation. No. Okay. He does it. Alright, I was gonna say, because that just that just picture doesn't look that like I've seen or familiar, but that's could also be a lot have a lot to do with the fact that I haven't seen that one in a refractor, so. Alright. Two packs of base left. We got Mitch Hanniger to lead us off. Silver uh or no, it's just the uh, future stars of Williams Astadio. Eddie Rosario and Edwin Rios. I've got like a whole rainbow it feels like of Edwin Rios. Which is unfortunate because I'm not looking for a rainbow of Edwin Rios. Gavin Lux, there we go. Thank God. Thank God. Oh, we got a purple. Keston Hira. This is out of 2.99. That's a nice one. We'll take that. No more Mazzara and Kevon, Kevon, Kevin Biggio. Um, let me get this sleeved up real quick. And top loaded. I'm gonna have to do that with all of them, but this one's important. There we go. Kissing here, that'll be that's a good one. Alright, our last two packs, they are the X Factor bonus packs. Yu Chang to lead us off. Uh, Trevor Williams, Carlos Santana, Marcus Simeon, and Xander Bogarts. Pretty weak, pretty weak. All right, last pack. Let 
Let's get somebody good. Jorge Soler. Ramon Laureano. That's not bad. For me, Eugenio Suarez. Bruce Star, Gradwell, and Jose Urena. Eh, our X Factor packs are pretty below average. But um, let's see. Let me go ahead and sleeve and all that fun stuff, and I'll be right back. All right, and I'm back. So I've got the camera in my hand now because so I can get you guys a better angle of what I got as it out as the top five. Uh, with a little help of Movie Magic, I already put them out there. Um, so there's your rankings. I honestly think even with the color, uh, Kessin Hera out of 2.99, I think Bowman Crow might actually win this one. Kyle Lewis is good. He's probably the better. Nah, Boba Shot's a pretty good rookie. So is Ares Arena. But I know Tops Chrome's gonna sell for more than Bowman Chrome. So you know, do that. You know, with that in mind. But then there's a Bobby Witt over here, which is pretty good, and the Matt Manning, who is, you know, he's a top ten pick. And uh, he's from Oak Grove, which is actually 20 minutes away from me. So, uh, but yeah. And I don't know. So this one's a tough one. This one's actually a really tough one. No major hits to really pull it away. A couple, both, both got numbered cards. There's good rookies in each one. So all in all, it's a pretty successful open, I think. But um, I want to know what your guys' opinion is in the comments. Let me know who what you guys think won it. If I'm going to have to put a stamp on it, I'm going to say Bowman Chrome, I think, took it. But, you know. I could see it both ways. But that is going to be it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, please be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.